Hello students, this is Mr. Ueda. Welcome to another math tutorial. Open Geometer Sketchpad and using the text tool create this title, Reflex Angles. I increased the font size to 24, I bolded it and I underlined it. Okay, so let's review a few things. Number one, a reflex angle is any angle that is greater than 180 degrees but less than 360. However, we know that geometer sketchpad that geometer sketchpad is not able to measure reflex angles. So, we have to construct a reflex angle by drawing two adjacent angles, one of which is always going to be a straight angle. So let's get started. So let's use the line segment tool and holding the shift key I'd like you to draw a line segment. First let's go to edit preferences and let's change the angle precision to units. Let's click OK. Alright so let's create a vertex in the middle of that straight angle right there. Let's measure the straight angle. Let's click back on the selection arrow, go endpoint, vertex, endpoint, and go measure angle. So we have angle ABC is a straight angle, right here, straight angle, 180 degrees. All right. So from point B, from the vertex, I would like you to draw a line outwards and downwards. So where is the reflex angle going to be? Well, it's not going to be in here because just by inspection I can tell that that angle is an obtuse angle. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to measure this angle here. See that? Okay. Alright, so let's make this reflex angle kind of stand out a bit more. So let's click on the line segment tool and let's trace over this line segment and then let's trace over this line segment okay and then automatically it will make this part a dashed line so let's deal with that let's click on the arrow tool and deselect let's click on this line now you notice this line does go all the way across but because I traced over it this part is actually underneath this solid line I'm gonna go to display I'm going to go to line style. I'm going to choose thin. Then I'm going to go back to display, line style, and choose solid. So I've made this line, which is not really part of the reflex angle, almost invisible. So now I can really concentrate on this reflex angle. So if I were measuring this reflex angle, and if I started here, and I came to this line right here, that is 180 degrees. So, we have to measure what's remaining here. Okay? So, let's measure this last small angle. Endpoint, vertex, endpoint. Go to measure, angle. Now, again, that's not this angle because by inspection you can tell that that is an obtuse angle. So, let's move this over here. Okay? Now, to find the total value of the reflex angle, we have to add these two values together, these two separate angles. So we're going to go to number, we're going to bring down the geometer sketch pad calculator. Remember, I never want you to use the number pad. I want you simply to click on the angle measurement plus the second angle measurement. Click OK, and there we have it. We have the total value of the reflex angle. Okay, so let's continue. Let's draw a second straight angle. Okay, so I am going to use the shift key again, and I am going to draw a horizontal line. And because the last line we changed was thin, it's going to draw the next line thin. That's okay. I'm going to go to display, line style, medium. Okay, I'm going to create a vertex somewhere in the middle, and I'm going to measure that straight angle. Endpoint, vertex, endpoint. Going to go to measure angle and no surprise it is a straight angle 180 degrees. Okay so I'm going to do something different even though it's going to look the same. I'm going to draw this line 
downwards and to the left. But this time, I want to measure this angle right here. Okay? So that means I need to trace over this line and this line. Because remember, this line is not that important in the reflex angle. Yes, it's part of the reflex angle. Okay? All right. So I'm going to change this line. Go to Display, Line Style Thin, Display, Line Style Solid. There we go. So I've already measured the 180 degree angle. You know I don't have to measure this because this is the reflex angle here. So it's this angle I have to measure. measure angle and you notice this time it's obtuse whereas last time it was an acute angle okay so if I want to measure the, the the measurement of this angle that starts from this line and goes all the way around to this line I have to add this angle plus this angle so let's bring down the calculator measure sorry number calculate I'm gonna click on this angle measurement plus this angle measurement, click OK, and there we go. You notice how this reflex angle is quite a bit larger than this one, and that makes sense because on this angle we had a straight angle plus an acute angle. In this angle we have a straight angle plus an obtuse angle. All right, let's draw one more. So this time I don't want you to hold the shift key. I want you to draw kind of like a diagonal line I'll go up and change the line style back to medium. I'm going to create the vertex in the middle. I'm going to measure my straight angle. Endpoint, vertex, endpoint, measure angle. Okay, I'm going to leave this over here this time. All right, this time, what I want to do is I want to draw a perpendicular line. In other words, a line that goes 90 degrees from this line. Okay, so now we have to decide which direction are we going to go, okay? Well, I'll let my marker decide. I'll start from here, and that means I'm going to go to here, and then I'm going to keep going till I get to here. Okay, so I'm going to start from this line, and it's going to go all the way around 180 degrees, and then I've got to measure this angle, don't I? So this is actually the line that I want to make thin. So I have to trace over this line from here to here, and this line from here to here. All right, let's change this line to thin and change it back to solid. Okay, so now I've got to measure the line, the, the, the angle between the thin line and my ending line. So let's click on endpoint, vertex, endpoint. Let's go to measure, angle, and there we go. I wanted uh, a perpendicular, so I can just cheat a bit. I can just move this back to 90 degrees. All right. Now, if you think about an entire circle, this is 3 quarters of the way around a full circle, isn't it? Let's bring down our calculator. And let's add these two angles. Always click on the straight angle first, although it doesn't matter. Straight angle plus my right angle. OK. And there we go. Now I have the full measurement of my reflex angle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on the actual angles that I measured, and I'm going to change the font size down to 14. I'm going to reposition them so they look nice and neat. And then I'm going to keep these ones. I'm going to click on these ones, and I'm going to make them a little bit bigger, and then maybe I'll change the color. Okay? All right. So, now that you've completed the lesson, I want you to go to File, Open. Go down to Four Students. Double-click Out. Go down and find my name. Double-click Ueda. Double-click 705 Math. And I want you to open Drawing Reflex Angles. And here you have your assignment. Make sure you fill in your name here. And you have question one and question two. Call me when you're ready to print. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye.